Okay, my friends, another exciting day at Mud Fossil University. Cosmic rays detected coming out <laughs> of Antarctica. They're supposed to come down to the Earth. Why are they coming out of Antarctica? So I said, well, you know, I get these things from everybody every day. I try to explain this big shot. Well, okay, <laughs> let me try to explain it. Well, I get down to here. And this is about the Penn, it's a Penn State paper that was done, suggesting the South Pole upward cosmic rays could be our first sign of super symmetricals. Well, what the hell is that? Specifically, the partner of the standard model's tau lepton. Well, let me tell you something right now. The standard model doesn't work. Absolutely doesn't work. And Don Lincoln, I am going to be confronting him over and over and over every day now. I'm going to go back through all his work and say, here's why I disagree. I will disagree, I'm certain, with virtually everything he said. And he's saying that he, my stuff is silly. Well, I don't think my stuff is silly at all. I can show what they are looking for, and here it is. Okay, Don Lincoln thinks my work is silly. Well, this is the muon that they're looking for, that black ball, and this white is the electron showers. And this is how we got it. We, whoops, we sent a red laser, which is, we're working with light. Light is light. A red laser through a venturi. It actually exploded the particles of light, which are particles. They look like this, photons. They are made of two electrons. When they explode, they actually divide the white shower from the black electron ball. And I will show you that's exactly what they are looking for. And I say, Don Lincoln has not found the muon. I have found a muon, Rod Warren and I, and our muon is a real muon. Their muon is actually an electron. I don't think they know what they're doing. Okay, I think this is extremely easy to understand. This is the impulsed red laser. There's a particle, which is this particle right here. That particle has a magnetic field in front of it that creates a wave. We put it through a venturi. You can see it accelerated the particle and pulled the particle right out of the wave. Coming out here is the Higgs fields they've been so proud to have found. This is the particle nobody's ever seen before. It's a reverse spinner that <laughs> I don't know anything about it. This one's a blue particle that is spinning to the right, drifting to the left, slowing down or speeding up one or the other it's wider here and it's closer here so one or the other is happening it's speeding up or slowing down that's the particle that is light that black ball is the ball that i showed you a minute ago separating from the white shower and here's what cern says is exactly what we just showed you right here they don't realize these two were tied together they have no clue about this and if they do tell me they do tell me i'm wrong the muon is tied to the electron. Nobody ever knew this. When they break these apart in their showers, they find all these particles. They had no clue they were tied together. I showed you they were together. And back to back is two of them, which is each one of these is an electron. Back to these tied together is an electron. Two of them, one of them this way and one of them that way is a photon. Exactly what I showed you coming through the air. And then when they explode, that's what they see is this, the white showers, and they see the black ball. Well, that's the muon I just showed you. Now, let's look at supersymmetry, because I'm sure that that's not going to be correct either. You know, Don Lincoln is all over here. He's all over Fermi Labs. He's very, you know, he's a smart guy. I haven't got no problems with his intelligence. It's just that he's got everything wrong. <laughs> so let's see what supersymmetry is all about. Now this is Don Lincoln and this is Fermi Lab and I'm doing this under the Fair Use Act where I am commenting on what I consider to be errors. I haven't watched this yet so I don't know if he's going to make any errors or not but if he's going by the standard model I guarantee you there are errors here. Let's see. Physicists like to understand everything about the physical universe. We've come up with a pretty good theory that does a pretty good job. This theory is called the standard model. It doesn't do a good job at all. It's totally wrong. 100% incorrect. Using a handful of particles of matter and a few forces, we can explain an awful lot of what we see as we study matter and energy. The only way you can explain it is by doing this stuff back here. It's been putting all kind of nonsense. I did all the nonsense. 
let me show you what I did so that I, he's, he, he can make all these little doodles all everywhere and pretend that he's smart. I looked at all the doodles and they make no sense whatsoever. All right, 50 years ago, I did this, and I mean I did doodles coming out of my ears. I did every doodle they could come up with, and every doodle was ridiculous. It was all trying to f figure out a way to make nonsense sensible, and you couldn't do it. You can't do it unless you're an idiot that just allows yourself to be taken in by all this nonsense garbage. I did all this. This is, this is absolute insanity when you get down to the fact that you cannot have a big, gigantic, positive core and a bunch of little tiny electric negatives spinning around it. And they have no clue. They don't even know that space is loaded with particles. It's not a vacuum whatsoever. We are plowing through space, creating enormous amounts of heat in our outer atmosphere. That's what's heating our our Earth is a scrubbing through space. 2,700 degrees in the outer atmosphere, 80 on the surface. Explain that. The corona of the sun, millions of degrees, 6,000 on the surface. It's because it's trying to get all those particles out and they're all being pushed back in by as it pushes through the universe, through the particles, crushing it back in. Millions out here, 6,000 on the surface. A 10-year-old will tell you that's obviously scrubbing through the particles in space, creating the corona. There is no question about it. They just refuse to accept it because all they can think about is these little numbers and signs and squiggly little lines and things that somebody told them to say. And that's what this guy does. And I'm done with it. So I want him to confront me. I'm confronting you, sir. Confront me. I just want to leave you with that. The people that are in control of our science need to do some real work. The outside of our atmosphere is loaded with electrons that are scrubbing as we spin through space with the other electrons that are showering us from what they call the vacuum of space, not a vacuum, loaded with particles, scrubbing like the tires on a pavement. That's why we have global warming. It's not a carbon dioxide blanket. It's the scrub of electron to electron, push to shove. We are scrubbing through the arm of the Milky Way. Everything that's in front of us is concussing. That makes our system glow. And that's why this is happening. That's why these arms are being bent back. It's because this is spinning and all the particles in space are pushing back against these that are scrubbing against it. Just like my sprays of light that I'm showing. Anytime you have push to shove, you have glow. These are glowing because they're crushing into the particles that are in front of it. It's as simple as that. And the more mass you get together, the harder it crushes forward, the more glow you get. That's why the bigger the mass, the more the glow. It's simply the scrub. I just see this on Facebook. They're talking about trying to cool down by using these reflective particles in the atmosphere. All that's going to do is give more push to shove. They're putting, instead of gases, they're going to actually have things banging into each other out there. It's just going to make it worse. Absolutely unbelievable. The people that are in charge need to start to, to pay attention to other people that have things to present. They are going back to things that are just wrong. And, and refusing to discuss evidence that shows that it's wrong. Very dis disturbing.